Hey guys, Ralph here. Um, thanks for joining us. I we have something uh, unique today. We we had to keep this a really top secret. I had a call. We got a call from a publicist of somebody going by the name of Joe Cotton. Joe Cotton is not his real name. I've been told he's very. Um, he wants his identity to be kept a secret. He claims to be a um, a expert on all things urban legends, all sorts of cryptids. Um, he claims to know much more about the bunny man and man goat than, than anybody else. He even says that, that this new comic book that we published is, is inspired by his, by him. So I'm not really sure what, what Joe Cotton, as he calls himself, it, uh, wants to really talk to us about but it does sound very interesting it, he does sound like an expert so let's bring him on without further ado and see what, what mr cotton has to say <sighs> joe mr cotton thank you for joining us uh we appreciate having you on oh well, thank you mr tedesco it's an honor and a privilege to be here i'm a, I'm a big fan of Zenoscope, and i just want to say uh, I want to thank you for respecting my wishes and my intentions to protect my identity. And uh, I, I'm very happy to be here today. Great. Thanks for having, or thanks for coming. Um, so, so this comic book is about two urban legends named Phil and Floyd, who are better known as Man Goat and the Bunny Man. Can you tell us a little bit more about this comic book series um, and also how you became involved in it? Well, my life story inspired this new comic book series, but that's, that's not to say that it's all real, because of course, there's no such thing as a bunny man or a man goat. That would be insane. But if there were, I would hope people would, would have an open mind about their existence. To answer the other part of your question, this comic's about friendship. It's about love and loss. It's about passion and bravery. The bravery of two regular Joes who ask for nothing in return for putting themselves in harm's way to help save humanity. No biggie. Sure. Okay. Mango and um, Bunny Man are are a growing legend uh, that are picking up more notoriety. What myths have you heard about the duo? And, and is there anything in particular that you want to refute? or believed to be an inaccurate about these the, the myths that you've heard? Well, of course, I want to reiterate, Mango and Buddy Man aren't real. They're just very, very, very cool urban legends. However, if they were real, I would think it would be pretty important to note that there aren't evil. They would actually fight evil behind the scenes. People have gone as far as to call them deranged monsters and killers. When in reality, the myth is that they're pretty awesome dudes who fight the scary things you don't want to believe exist. Ah, I see. And, and what about the rumor, or I mean, I mean the myth that Bunny Man poops softball-sized pellets when he's frightened? Have you heard that one? Uh, no, no, no comment. Never heard of that. Next question, please. Sure. Um, so some believe the Bunny Man may, in fact, be a psychotic cosplayer. Others think he's actually the illegitimate son of the Easter Bunny. Your thoughts? Well, the Bunny Man is a thousand percent not a cosplayer. And he's not a psycho fur furry. He's half human, half Bunny. Okay. The rumor about the Easter Bunny being Bunny Man's father it's very accurate lore, though. Legend states that their relationship isn't as close as the Bunny Man would hope. But the Bunny Man also understands that the Easter Bunny has a lot on his plate. It's not easy being an icon. Wow, interesting uh, legend, mate. Um, recently, more than a few women uh, have come out and claimed that not only have they seen Mango, but have claim they've claimed to have had casual relationships with him. This goes against the more frightening accounts we've heard about, about Mango. So what's the truth? Is he actually a ladies' man? Oh, well, Phil, I'm sorry. Uh, Mango does have a certain animal magnetism. It's in his DNA. As the legend goes, he's not quite as hot as he likes to think he is. 
The body man, for example, is much cuter and fluffier. But he's looking for a lot more substance than what Mango looks for in the woman. It's the opinion of some that Mango is a bit of a man of whore. Wow, okay. Sounds, uh, sounds oddly personal. Well, I, I don't want to keep you too long. We appreciate you answering these questions. Um, is there anything else we should know about this new comic book series? Just that it, it's three oversized issues published through my favorite company, Zenoscope Entertainment. There's horror, comedy, action, and so much more. Even Bigfoot makes an appearance. Speaking of which, Bigfoot has the best cryptic cave in all the Ozarks. He just upgraded to an 82-inch flat screen TV and somehow got his hands on a PS5. Oh, uh, you mean the legend has it that that's what's... Uh, oh, oh, yes, of course, of course. Uh, that's, that's all that it was just a myth. It's, an, it's just a weird myth. I've never heard that about Bigfoot. Um, is there anything else you'd like to, to say or add? Mm -hmm. oh, please support this book. I could really use the cash. I recently spent a lot of money remodeling my hole. Remodeling your hole? Oh, <clears throat> oh I'm sorry. Home. My home. Oh, your home. Okay, not your hole. Got it. Uh, there you have it. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Floyd. I mean, um, Mr. Cotton. Uh, appreciate you coming by, and we'll uh, we'll hopefully we'll talk talk again soon. Thank you, Mr. Tedesco. That's all we got, guys. Now back to Amber.